Hey, what's good? I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and today I'm going to give you the true fundamentals of shooting form. All right, so the year right now is 2020, in case you're watching this in the future, and the fundamentals of shooting form have drastically changed. So if you're still trying to train or teach yourself from fundamentals from the 60s, 70s, or 80s, they're definitely not gonna work. So today what I wanna do is talk to you about the new fundamentals of shooting and how you can make more shots just by simply adjusting your form. But before we jump into it, this video is brought to you by my guys over at the M1 Smart Coach. Max One is absolutely changing the game with their Smart Coach AI shooting app. This is an app that's actually gonna watch you shoot analyze your jumper and give you perfectly personalized feedback. Now this is really the future of personalized shooting instruction and one of the reasons why I decided to partner with Max One on this project. So now instead of helping just one athlete at a time, I can help thousands and thousands of athletes all over the world using artificial intelligence and the latest cutting edge technology. And when I say this technology is insane, I mean it's insane. I've been playing around with it for the last couple weeks and I'm absolutely in love. So click the top link in the description down below or the first pinned comment to save your spot inside the wait list when we launch here very shortly. And every single athlete's going to get a free analysis if they do so. And to go one step further and make it better, anybody who signs up for the wait list is gonna get instant access to my Tryout Academy series that I produced with Max One. It's an academy that I put together to help you get ready to slay tryouts. From tips and tricks to ways to impress the coach, it's something that you're not gonna wanna miss because the information is crazy valuable. All right, so if you wanna get your own free shot analysis, courtesy of my guys over the N1 Smart Coach. All you got to do is click the top link in the description down below or the top pinned comment link underneath that and sign up for the waiting list. We're getting ready to launch it very soon and so I want to make sure that you get it. And to make it even better, right now you're going to get instant access to my tryout academy. This is an academy I put together to help every player crush tryouts and use those tricks and those tips that will impress the coaches so they can make the team each and every single time. So now when we think about shooting form, right? The very first thing I want you to think about is the fact that flow is greater than form, right? A lot of times players get obsessed with like the minute details of their form about, you know, hey, are my feet going to be perfect here? And like, where's my hand position going to be and all that sort of stuff. And don't get me wrong, that can be really important. But the most important thing and the most important fundamental when it comes to shooting is flow or fluidity or smoothness, right? We want to be able to generate up force into the basketball and have it flow smoothly towards the hoop. So very first thing you want to do is maximize your, fl or your flow, maximize that motion, and ensure that the ball and your body are moving together as one. The number one killer of shooting uh, you know, percentage is making the ball and your body move at different times. Meaning if the ball's going up, your body's going down, or the ball, ball's pausing and your body's firing, right? We want the ball and your body move together. So the very first tip, the very basic I always like to teach players, no matter what age, they could be third graders, all the way through NBA players that I work with, is we want the ball and your hips to move together. Now think about this, as your hips go down, the ball should go down, as your hips go up, the ball should go up. So no matter what you're working on, let's start with that ball and hips move together in unison. Now with that being said, they're gonna move at different speeds, right? Because the ball has to move a lot further than the hips do, but the motion's gonna be connected together. And if you can connect that motion, automatically you're gonna have one of the biggest fundamentals of shooting right now. All right, so the next key is that there is no such thing as a perfect jump shot, right? We're all different. Some of us taller, some of us shorter, some of us longer, some of us uh, you know, thicker, thinner, all that sort of stuff. Some people have huge hands, some people have a small hand, some people have long arms, short arms, all that sort of thing and everything in between. So the concept of having one shot for every single person just isn't realistic, right? It's kind of like a diet. The same diet doesn't work for everybody, right? So what we want to do is we want to find your perfect jump shot and that's the first fundamental that you really want to think about when it comes to shooting, right? We want to find what's perfect for you. Now, we at Shot Mechanics have been on this for years. All of a sudden, now everybody else wants to talk about it and you know, we're all individuals and all that sort of stuff, right? We've been on it from day one, but I promise you, that's what you have to do. Now, what this all comes from is backwards design, right? You got to look at your body and analyze your misses and then figure out why you're missing, right? I always say you gotta become your own shooting coach. You can't rely on somebody else. So what I suggest you do to figure this out is number one, shoot a bunch of shots, track where you're missing, right? So shoot 10 shots and say, okay, I missed three left, I missed one long, and then I missed you know, the rest to the right. And then that's gonna give you some data. And then shoot some more and that'll give you some data. And then what you can do is cross comparison that to some of the mechanical things we, you, know, you can do. Now, hey, you're at Shot Mechanics. This is a great resource you can use to actually you know, do that. But that's the first step, is figure out what's causing your misses and then work backwards to fix them from there. Now the next fundamental is a big one, and that's this, that your jump shot is going to be a transformation over time. Let me repeat that. 
Your jump shot should be a transformation over time. If you're in fourth or fifth grade, you shouldn't be trying to train the exact same jump shot that you have when you're uh, you know, a senior in high school or going into college, right? I see it all the time. People put on these shooting camps across the world and they put on you know, like 100 kids in the gym, they jam them in there like sardines and they teach them all the exact same thing and it doesn't matter if they're fourth graders, it doesn't matter if they're juniors, they're all doing the same thing, working on the same form, right? Now here's why that's dangerous. It's dangerous for a few different reasons. Number one, is your body going to be physically developed the same as a fourth grader as it will when you're a senior? Probably not, right? So first and foremost, your shot's gotta change in between. Second, if you do force everybody to shoot how they should when they're older, you're gonna lose a lot of players because guess what's not fun? Missing shots. Nobody likes to miss shots, right? So if I come out here and I say, hey, you've gotta do all this sort of stuff, but you're not strong enough to do it, and I say, okay, well, you're either gonna miss a lot of shots or you're not allowed to shoot outside of 10 feet, you're not gonna to wanna to do it. It's not fun, right? It, shooting the ball has to be fun and making shots is what's actually fun. So what I like to do is have a rhythm and have a set where your shot's gonna transform over time. So if like, let's say you're a fourth grader and you need to thumb the ball to get it there with your guide hand, who cares? It doesn't matter. We can always fix a thumb down the line pretty easily if we have to, right? Let's say you're a third grader and you gotta get the ball down by your knees to get big time power. Who cares? It doesn't matter. You're not gonna shoot like that forever. Your shot's gonna transfer over time. And by the way, I know plenty of professional shooters in the NBA and overseas that shoot the ball down by their knees almost anyways, right? So that's the whole key, transformation over time. Working on your shot in, in kind of a transformative path where you know that it's not gonna be the end is where you need to start. If you can do that, that's a fantastic fundamental in shooting. All right, and the next huge one, and I saved it for this part of the video because it's so incredibly important is this. The number one rule of shooting fundamentals is if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let me repeat that. I gotta drill it in your guys' brain. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I've seen over and over and over again, coaches and shooting coaches and players tinker with their jump shot here and there, here and there. And don't forget that the whole point of shooting is to make the basket. And so if you're making the basket, you don't want to mess it up, right? I've had a ton of players be like, coach, I'm a really good shooter. You know, I'm averaging like 20 points a game, but like, I just feel like I'm thumbing the basketball a little too much. I need to get rid of it. Well, are you missing the ball to the right or to the left? No, I only miss long. It's probably not an issue then. You don't need to fix it, right? And so the, one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to shooting instruction is I always see this. A kid starts working with a coach for the first time. Coach comes in, they say, okay, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to get your feet turned and you're gonna need to do this, you're gonna do this with your hands, you gotta set the ball here and they give them like eight different things right out of the gate to work on. Before they even know how the player misses, a true shooting coach is gonna say, all right, hey, why don't you take like 20 jumpers and let's see what it looks like. And then they'll kind of watch and analyze. They'll be like, all right, let's, let's see you take some more and, and we'll you know, kind of check and see what it looks like. And then they'll see how the misses are happening and through backwards design, try to fix it. So again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't care if you're using your thumb, if you're loading it down, what's the problem in your jump shot? And that's where we wanna find the solution. And that's the biggest fundamental to shooting the basketball. All right, don't forget, if you wanna get your own personalized shot analysis by artificial intelligence, all you gotta do is click the top link in the description down below or the top link in the pinned comments down below that and go ahead and join the M1 Smart Coach waiting list. Again, this is gonna be fantastic. I'm super excited. And to make it even better, you're gonna get free instant access to my Triad Academy that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Also, if this video helped you out, do me a huge favor for the algorithm, pop that like button, and then head to the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you wanna see next. This channel's run pretty much by the people for the people, so leave a comment down below and hopefully I'll be able to get to it. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, ding the bell notification so you actually get my videos and YouTube doesn't keep them from you, and then hopefully we will see you next time. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.